Welcome to the Broadcom Ops MVS event management and automation video featuring exporting ops log data. In this video, we'll cover a general overview of exporting ops log data, its prerequisites, as well as an operational demonstration of the feature. Several customers have requested a solution for making ops log data available to modern off-platform analysis tools. Ops log export provides that capability for Splunk, Elastic, and even customer applications that already depend on ops log data in our REST API JSON format. The following steps are required to export your ops log data. Each step will be covered in more detail. Identify the ops log source, define the target data set, select the desired output format, optionally specify any filtering criteria, and finally execute the export. The source of ops log export may be any of the following, any active ops log, including in storage or div data sets, a restored merged or archived ops log data set, or output from an EXT OPMO operation from the ops log function. The target of the export may be a ZOS sequential data set, a ZFS file, or the ZData Mover common service component. There are two JSON output formats, OpenTelemetry and Ops MVS REST API. The Ops MVS API format is convenient for customers who may have already written applications dependent upon that format. The prerequisites for this feature are PTF LU12196. This section demonstrates the operation of exporting Ops log data. There are three ways to initiate an ops log export from OpsView. OpsView Utilities Panel 7.1. A new option, number seven, export, has been added to this panel. The second approach is from the archive tracking facility, OpsView Panel 7.1.4. A new line command X has been added to export from a list of archived ops logs. The third option is from the ops log definition panel 4.13. A new line command X has been added to export from a list of active ops logs. Regardless of where you initiated the ops log export, panel OP 717000 is presented. This panel displays the selected ops log source and allows you to specify the target and format for the exported data. This particular example originated from the archive tracking facility. The source of the ops log data is populated with the archive data set from which the X line command was entered. The target can be a sequential data set, path name of a ZOS Unix file, or the literal ZDM for the ZData Mover common service component. If the target data set does not exist, additional information is required for allocation. The primary and secondary quantity is based on information from the source data. It is an approximation of size, assuming all data is being exported. If a subset of the ops log data is being filtered, these values may be overridden. The next panel allows you to filter the ops log data to be exported. Start and end times are filled in, if available, from the selected ops log source. Sections two and three support filtering similar to an ops log browse profile. Exporting data may be selected by criteria such as event types, job names, message IDs, or rules. The final step is to execute the export. From this panel, the export may be run online 
or submitted via batch job. For more information, visit the Ops MVS product page at the URL shown on this slide. Thank you for watching the Broadcom Ops MVS Exporting Ops Log Data feature video.